RCW, Rubber City Wrestling. Allow me to beg your indulgence for one moment. This is the fallen angel, Christopher Daniel. The blue. Mick Foley. And you are watching RCW Wrestling from the Rubber City. Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. Not the flippy stuff. Have a nice day. Yeah. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays at RCW Global. Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. Can you believe this? Like what? Stevie Ray Penn, right? Mm -hmm. Retro rock star guy? Oh, yeah. Walks into, the guy that walks into the RCW locker room and demands respect. He wins one match. One match against J.D. Smooth. And they give him a shot at the light heavyweight title. And that's fine. I would have given him a shot. All he had to do was ask. Right. They give him the match, and we haven't heard a word from him since. Can you believe that? And he demands our respect. Really? Well, why do you think that is? Why well, he's so quiet now? I don't know. Maybe he's scared. It has to be. Oh. Look, Stevie. I know that you think that you deserve this shot, but the fact is, you won one time. The truth, Twisted Sister, is that you and your buddies over in the Fuller family are just as much of a poison in my locker room as Rick Lieb in the way. The only reason you even warrant my attention is because you won't shut up, at least until recently. But I'll tell you this, at Cold War II, the Akron Turners Club, when you step into the ring with me for the RCW Light Heavyweight Championship of the World, you can kiss your title aspirations goodbye. And you'll find out that I am exactly what I say that I am. I am the RCW Light Heavyweight Division. I am the RCW Light Heavyweight Champion, the Rubber City Ronin, the Bushido Badass, and these hands. Ready to eat for everything. And welcome to another edition of RCW Spotlight. I am your host, your role model, Rick Lieb. And with me as always, he is Mr. Too Damn Thick, the Mean Street Miles Jacobs. You just split your pants, brother. What? You just split your pants. Oh my gosh. Nothing says oh. stay away from the fries like you split your pants. Go ahead. No, that's all that. That's, that's so for being bad. too damn thick. Don't quit, quit. You're gonna get on the air, dude. Man. That's so bad. Look, look at this, guys. Close look at no, this, guys. Good, good. Can you see that? Look on at the air? this, guys. Good lord. Oh wow. Why would you want the guys to look at this? I'm just curious. I gotta wonder about him, huh? It's 2022. You're in the way. Yes, I am in the way. Okay, just is he a little come see, come saw? You no. know what I mean? No. Anyway, but this, everyone knows I have and a of course, hot wife. We so. have the star of the show, the commentator, the commissioner. Senator? Was it the commissioner? Congressman! Congressman! Oh. Hi, this is the congressman. How do I never remember? I'm going to need a piece of paper written down that says congressman. And they say, I say, heh, heh, heh. Okay. Listen, yeah. I, don't, I don't do the politic thing, so I really don't tend to remember what the heck, what is what. And I thought I had it on a commissioner for real. I, I'm like, it I thought same. he was a commissioner at one point. I was. Yeah, CWF commissioner. Yeah. Horrible commissioner. I lost my belt because of him. Really? Yeah, I was, was a tag champian. Not very good. And I stacked the odds. He was alright right with me. Who knows? My tag belt, too. Freaking Top Gun. So I owe them. Yeah, I do. owe them. Yeah, you do. Anyway. And that match. Congress, anyway, Congressman, of course, the Southern Beast, Ken Sermonero. 
Um, just in case I didn't say it. So you said it. Yeah. Okay, great. So that match where he gets his revenge against the Top Guns will happen February 26th at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio. That's your hometown. It is my hometown. I mean, everyone, everyone, you. everyone that, you know, they love me, but I hate all of them. I know, right? Because I'm the one that put that town on the map. I never heard that, of it until that, you that, got there. Yeah, I mean, I'm the most famous thing ever to come from Talmadge. I mean, I know damn well I did. Other than the, the circle. The, Tal- the circle Talmadge. is pretty. pretty Talmadge circle is pretty cool. It is Rick, pretty cool. do you not think that he has anger issues? No. No, not at all. He's got a mean streak, but that's... Yeah, I mean... Could be contrived as anger issues. Um... I like get it better if you do hey, that, you know, Dr. Hey, Phil. Hey, I only have anger issues against people that make me mad. Uh, that's strong. Man. That's the problem here. Why see? is it the last two weeks has been strong? What are you giving me? Bourbon? Rat poison. It is bourbon. I can tell what it tastes. Oh, it's definitely bourbon. Sweet. I think we're out of bourbon now, though. No, we got plenty of bourbon. It's right over there by your arm. We got Our one bourbon. shot, one bourbon, one beer. Look over there All at right. the end. Grab oh. it. Grab it. There you right go. Right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Buffalo Trace? Yeah. Ooh. Anyway, put that back. Oh well, I'm working on it. Relax. Okay, so today we're gonna yeah. go ahead and do a good rundown of this uh this card. Like we're just gonna try and get this talk thing. about it as cordial human beings. Yeah. Now that we we don't have a guest today, thank God. I hated them. Ah, uh, what a know. lovely couple. Listen, in my opinion, what a what a lovely couple. No, whatever. Um, it wasn't that I I didn't like them or anything. Because I really don't have a hatred towards them. I the do. thing is, I couldn't get a word in edgewise. Rory when the hell does that ever happen? Rory wouldn't shut up. She, huh? When she's does a that talk- ever happen? She's a talking dishwasher. I know, right? You mean you met your match that day? No, I didn't meet my match. I met a mouth. You met no, a what? No. A mouth? A, a walking, talking dishwasher. She didn't yeah. let him say anything. You, no, know, what you know what Uncle Marty once yeah. said? What no, brother, a mouth is a mouth. Okay, go ahead. Right. Some of you will get that. Now he Go just ahead. said he he just said uh, don't I worry about what the looks are. The head of hair. All you're looking at is a head of hair anyway. I mean, on, me. honestly, Uncle, Uncle Marty told you that. That's what Uncle you, Marty told you me. can just put a bag over her head with a little hole in it. It'll be fine. I, that's a pretty lady. Well, we would need a pretty big hole for us. Yes, we Italian. would. We need the Grand Canyon or what? Go ahead. Damn right. Uh, anyway, so today. That's what we got lined up. We're going to go ahead. We're going to talk about F. See, now you got me saying this. Wow. RCW Cold War 2. Well, it used to be an FCWF event. What, was it no, one? it was Civil War. For was that. it Civil War? Yeah, for FCWF? But they yeah. ran basically on the same time yeah, period. It was, it was a, they, period, they, right? they were actually a. FCWF was kind of like a, minor, a sister promotion. Minor, yeah, a sister promotion to it. Yeah. You know, the main guys would go to RCW when they were ready, but FCWF was like a student showcase. I remember you know, being who on knows, the man? I, I, I would like for them to bring it back. I would. Off, on the know. off months of the I had fun wrestling that to try and get the students some, some ring time. Yeah. It was you nice. Know. But, uh, I mean, that is what it is. I don't know. I mean, you have to talk to their uh, owners and see what they want to do. But with that being said, Ken, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How was your Valentine's Day? Oh, it was a sweetheart, Wait, sweetheart, boom, boom, boom. Blue pills, in other words. That's Wait, boom, boom, we had Valentine's Day come? Oh, that's why the wife is mad at me. Not only come, it yeah, came, it baby. Oh, it came. Oh, my. That's why February 14th. Me. Oh, I have apologized. Whoops, I goofed. Here's a free pass, baby. Yeah, okay. uh, I'm going to need to do some talking when I get home. Hey, you oh, got some... a shot. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. You got some splaining to do. Yes, I do. But while he's doing that splaining, he's probably gonna have to call her during this commercial break. We're gonna go ahead and take that commercial break. But don't go anywhere because we will see you in two minutes and two seconds. Rubber City Wrestling presents Cold War Two Saturday, February 26th at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio. This amazing card features so many of your favorite RCW wrestlers and includes two world championship matches as the retro rock star Stevie Ray Pym challenges Spike St. James for his world light heavyweight championship and world heavyweight champion Schizo defends his belt against the black Superman Lex Vegas. Tickets are $12 general admission, $18 front row. Add $5 for our VIP package. Doors open at 5 p.m. Bell time is at 6 p.m. VIP doors open at 4. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. 
Are you looking for a job? I mean, seriously, do you want a J-O-B? Then get a hold of ASAP Staffing. ASAP Staffing is located in Barberton, Ohio, 165 2nd Street, Northwest. Phone number is 330-615-2477. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Uh, you're still, honey. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. I, I told you. I, I promise. Hey, hey, we're back on the air. Please, just, just, just do my thing. Look, listen. I will make it up to you. Please. Yes, I'll get you flowers. I'll put rose petals on the bed. I'll, I'll make sure I get you one of those bath Dude, bomb stop things. Stop it, man. You're Dude, gonna make just, my wife ask me right, why I right, want hey, hey, I gotta go. I love you. I love you, boo boo. Mwah, mwah. Right, bye, 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 bye. Oh, I call her Boo Boo. Jeez, no, only when hey, she's mad. Hey, hey Boo Boo. No, I, I call her that because it makes her mad. It's because it makes just makes her mad. It makes her all go bonkers, and it's, it's hilarious. Honestly. All right. Well, uh, February. Try, tell them about to thrive there, Rick. Oh, oh yeah. See, for, a lot of people don't know this. I, I've been selling. I, I, me and my wife have our own store. It's called Thrive with Leaves, just and we that sell the stuff. Like you. And I've been. Uh, let me tell you something. Okay, these things right here. They are Actually delicious. delicious. They do. Them. They taste like a shamrock shake from McDonald's, and the uh, and, and they they're just loaded with vitamins. I also got. I didn't bring a box with me, but I got the build. This is for people that like to work out, and that's what I'm doing with this. But I, I like to get this stuff, and then I got form over here, and form is. I'll put that back. Form is like a protein. It's like a jello. You just squirt the gel in your mouth. It's really good. And uh, it's great flavored. And I got those things there. Now, one of the reasons why I... One of the things I like, and I've been do, doing it lately, and it's been finally getting me back to where I need to be because, you know, I have a show on February 26th because I, I was getting out of shape pretty bad. So I needed, to go, back, I needed to go back to my Thrive. Um, mix the Thrive with the stuff that I'm getting from TNT Health. And I've noticed that the combination together has me in the gym acting like a monster. I mean, like, I'm in there just, like, I'm going nuts on it. Because it, it, it really, the two together equal results. And I'm not one to really go and do that kind of, like, I'm not a mouthpiece for, for stuff like that. You know, that would be but better, it works, suited, it better works. suited for, you know, like the Kenny Hendrixes and, the, you know, obviously the Vinny DiMarzo because no one can look like him. And, and uh, the, um, just stuff like that. Uh animal yeah animal. you know yes. uh, you know the people that are really into that kind of stuff but uh anyway february 26 guys we got colt oh look who we got here what how's it going it it was going smoothly until somebody just interrupted our set yeah are you going to go and tell everybody you're crazy again? Look, i don't have a problem with you because okay. you've been somewhat nice to me recently i like doing global with you and was that was fun. Good, was I'm talking to myself, Dad. Well, sorry to do this to you, Ken, but why'd you name me Jagoff? Because. Only one reason. Please don't take this as an offense. However, I was not allowed, as per the rules... Sit. sit. Just sit. If you're going to be on the show. As per the rules of Jagoff of the month, I couldn't give half votes. I figured each one of these guys deserved to have <laughs> half votes. However, I wasn't allowed to do that. We were picking on it pretty bad. You saw that. But, you know, Guido Mongo always told me, you know, Beast, I'll tell you what, every knock is a boost. That might be a knock to you, but it's a boost. It'll, it gets you in the limelight. It keeps you in the limelight. It's what you need to do. I'm very proud of you. You're a young man with lots of potential. Don't let certain people dissuade you from what you want to do. Dis you understand what I mean? I understand. Gotcha. I, I forgive you. But you, on the other hand, listen, fat bastard, I ain't a baby. Fat bastard. Ew. <laughs> you ain't gonna eat me. Did you? So, Did you so no, Mr. Makes Me Sick. Oh, hey, when'd you get here? <laughs> All right. 
Well, he put I'm his done. phone down, didn't he? <laughs> I'm glad I got your attention. And I'm glad in front of everybody on RCW Spotlight, Ken and Rick. I'm sick of you running your mouth about me. Damn, dude, you are shaking. You're so mad. If anybody should have been jag off, it should have been you. What? You're not going to eat me. Oh, his little fancy shirt. Guess what? Go, whoa, whoa. Shut up and, and wrestle. Don't I don't care up. if it's no, loser no. wears a dress. No, 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 don't. Say it, I don't say, care say, if it's say, hair say, versus say, hair. Say We're not. Where's we my bottle? You're in the way now. We get paid to wrestle. Sit down. And we get paid to hurt people. Yeah. I got it. He you versus me on global. Global? Submission match. One on one. 15 minute time limit main event. Ooh, wow. Make it a half hour. Okay. Oh! Come on, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit. Take it sit. easy, will you? Sit, sit. We, 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 don't, we don't do that stuff for free. We don't do that stuff for free. Come on, we have a show to do. Sit your ass down, boy. We have a I show. I know your freaking place. Okay. Calm down. It's getting a little out of hand. Uh, do we have an anchor issue here? Do me a favor. Go back there. Tell the promoter to get this chair on the sc- in, uh, in the scene. I'm gonna let you come back on. I'll let you come back on. Make sure that make sure this chair is. Uh, you're, make sure you got an angle. Uh, calm down. Facebook we'll let you come again. back on for the next segment. Go. What the hell, dude? He interrupted my Facebook scroll. What can what I say? We're on a show. He interrupted me. I get it, man. Would you listen, put that down? Come on. One thing about the way you gotta understand something. Listen man. to your elder. Please. We get. Paid to hurt people. We don't I give like away. it. You're giving away I a freebie. Like it. You're That's giving okay. away a freebie. It's just a taste. Miles. No. Because I'll I'll accept his I'll accept his submission match Mr. challenge Jacob. or whatever. Mr. Jacob, you're whoring yourself. Don't do that. Yes. You know what? Speaking of global, there's a pre-show on the FCW. Or I said I said it again, dude. Yeah, you did. You got to stop talking to me about that stupid promotion. It was, it was one of my. It was one of my favorite FCW. What the hell is that? FCW. Yeah, World Two Championship Wrestling. F'd up uh, Wrestling Federation. Federation. I yeah. don't know. Go ahead. It was a student showcase we used to do, and we we, we had some great. good memories. Right? A student good. showcase. Yes. Yeah, yes. One of the most fun. It was like the minor had. leagues for RCW, basically, really was. and it was for the students to get their. And here's the thing. Kind of start I, I, it's I basically what Global is Look. now, if you think about it. You know, we have a bunch of the but, minor league guys coming in there. Let's no, listen. I'm in the way because of one thing. I'm mean. Yes. I don't take shit from anyone. All right, let's not swear on the air. But listen, here's what we got. Nobody does that in here, do they? First of all, on that pre-show, there's a good chance we're in the works right now, trying to get. You versus Marcus Knight, but it ain't just a regular RCW. We're actually working with Fight Night to have Marcus Knight put his belt on the line again. And I'm finally getting my championship match. You are I am currently yes, the see, number one contender. Listen, it's not a Fight Night event. It's, it's not a Fight it's Night an event. It's an RCW event. Does that so mean I get we to have to actually work out. Kind of like remember when NWA did that merge with UWF every once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like what we're doing here. We're trying to get that thing on there. We've actually talked to Wasp about having Lionheart maybe defend during pre-shows in, 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 in April. So we're trying to do these kind of things. You know, this cross-promotion thing, and then yeah. we'll use them on Global since they did it on our pre-show. Sure. They also got Brendan Martell defending his belt against uh, Brandon Miller. Now, I'm not familiar with the guy. I am very familiar with Brandon Miller. Are you? I am. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to seeing this one. I haven't seen him wrestle well, yet. I, I, he's, he's all right. Okay, but it's, again, you, who's never had his mandatory rematch, getting never. snubbed, but at least you're going for something. Hey, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, I'd rather focus on uh, beating Kitty Hart and, you know, the other two trailer Right, oh, yeah, yeah. You but know, see, here's so. the thing. I got to worry about that match, and then guess what they th- guess, guess what they spring on me? What did they spring on you? I have to now defend my belt against Blackheart. What? What? Okay. Is he going to have one arm or two? Huh? All right. So well, I just he, want to, I just well, want to point this out. He's not going to have a heart. I'll tell you that right now. I just want to point this out. What? It's, not that I care or anything, but you've been saying his name wrong. Oh no no! I've been saying it right. It's Black Heart. Because I'm going to rip. What do you? Call I'm going to rip that red I mean, blood it, it's, heart. It's it's uh. Isn't it like uh, Sad Hawk? Oh no, he's no longer Black Hawk to me. I don't know if you guys noticed it last week. I've been calling him Black Heart too. That's his new name for me. Coward Heart? 
No, 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 no. Coward, coward no, 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 because he'd be better off being... Joan Jett would have a better chance wrestling me than the Black Hearts. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, he's George <laughs> Animal Steel, actually. No, not No, nah, he right. does look like him, though. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Mine? Especially, especially, especially nice. when he, especially nice. when he shaves all this down. Mine? 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 <laughs> Mine? Turnbuckle? I don't think we had that kind of panic in our turnbuckle. No, I don't think so. I mean, that, that, that's... Ken, what the heck? Two weeks in a row, you're trying to get me plastered. That's pretty thin padding on those trim buckles anyway. Like, he doesn't really... He'd lose his teeth. But anyway, yeah, he, so he that, so I got to go against uh, Joan Jett's... Uh, managed by Joan Jett, by the way. Black Heart. Hi. Um, I got... And then, uh... You're not on the card. You're just managing Crowley. Just Crowley. I think so. Do you have anybody else? Do you have other horses in the race? Rogue is there. Oh, Yeah! Yeah, what's Rogue, what's Rogue Somebody doing? dusted off that fossil. He's finally going to wrestle again. What's Rogue doing? Rogue and Kenny Hendricks against the Pope Brothers. And the Pope Brothers are... My, are, are oh, wait, we're not doing our predictions yet. They're what? They're Marks? No, no, they're great wrestlers. You're going to see firsthand what they can do to two... I, I've seen them wrestle. Up tough in, guys. I've seen, I've seen them uh, wrestle up in, at the North Coast. They're actually pretty good. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about them. And I actually... Same Brandon Miller, by the way. Yes, yes. It's an North Ghost, so. Okay. Well, good. I mean, then I'm, RTW is bringing in some great talent. They got Lex yeah. Vegas coming in. I mean, yeah. he wrestled against Schizo. Black Superman. Black Superman. I don't know if he goes Boom, boom, boom. Hold on a How you feeling? I'm all right. <clears throat> is, this in the, is this in the shot yet? Yeah. Did you ask him if he's yeah. in? Sit down. Sit down. You know your place Don't yet? beat him up. You know your place <laughs> Come yet, on, boy? calm down. I'm not, I'm not, here we go. Penalty flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pit. You Unnecessary your, roughness. You know where you scrum. stand, right? Below me, right? Listen. Well, you understand. You understand as, me, right? Listen, I agree with you on this. I'm just did, did he say blow me? I'm just saying. I heard you. <laughs> did he just say blow me? I didn't accept your challenge. So you know what? Stop it. Don't Play the that. tape back. Maybe, You'll hear him yeah. say blow me. All right, below me. Be Maybe below. I should be he a said, member of Team Beast. Maybe I'm the new beast because I'm going to show my animalistic side. There you go, baby. You know what the sad part is? He when does that. Tap he out. even has he even has more res respect for himself to never let you set foot in Team Beast because oh, you're not good enough that's to not even be a part of a small organization like Team Beast. Not necessarily true. Okay, who are you wrestling at? You're on the free show also, aren't you? Yeah, you Man, and uh, uh, Big Jolie. Big Jolie, and they have a really guy or a girl. It's unofficial, but is that a guy or a girl? Big Julie, oh, Big Julie, no, he's a guy. He's a I know guy. who Big Julie. You know Big Julie. Come I'm just, on, I'm just effing with him. Hey? Right? I'm, I'm just effing with him. All right, all right hey. listen. So you and Big Julie, and there's a good chance you'll be wrestling the Pope Brothers also. We're what times Judge Judy on? Yeah. Uh, hey. How are you and Big Julie doing as a tag team? Are three you minutes guys, to walk. Are you guys putting together three minutes to walk? We're, we're putting some stuff together because the one time we did team up, it didn't go our way. Thanks to did he kick you in the stomach or the nads? He, I'm having some stomach pain because of where he kicked me. Mads, huh? I mean, he kicked yeah. you there. Okay. 100%. Right through the right. I hit the sweet it. spot. <laughs> okay, I'm cool with it. Just because... I, I put those nuts so far up your stomach, your belly hurts. I know Don't listen to him. He's loving these nuts, right, okay? okay? Just because right. you've beaten me a handful of times, I get better every day. You know, the fact that yeah. you're actually... Listen, I'm going to say this, okay? I think you're out of your league. 100%. But Might the, be fact, taken seriously. Like, the on. fact, seriously, I mean, <laughs> you you faced me. I felt like you're out of your league. You're asked now. You're challenging him. I feel like you're out of your league. How many times but have you beaten him? no, 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 I, a lot. But the fact is that you keep on coming back, and that's why I'm like, why did you? Why you know? Why did you? Uh, I got. Why do you it. care what the fans think now? All I got to give this guy kudos, a, Rick. I got to give this guy kudos. He don't quit. I noticed. I mean, and I'm saying that. It's like, you know. You know what the definition I of thought for sure. Is? Listen, I thought for sure he was well, going to. I'm familiar with it. Okay. All right. You know the, you know the do you remember when insanity, they wrestled? Right? Do you remember when he wrestled the Carnivores of Chaos? Him and Big Julie wrestled. I saw it. in Little Italy. I mean. I yeah. saw it. That match retired Little Italy, basically. I haven't seen him since. But wait, you think, keep coming back. Wait, isn't Little Italy the, the, the true champion? The global television champion? <laughs> I thought Not he until he took that mask off. I, oh, thought, wait, that was me. I thought he was in a nursing home now from getting brain damaged. I'm confused at two things. You and Little Italy both 
came out there and you were like giving high fives to the ding, fans. Ding, dong, yeah, ding, the real lovey dovey song. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did I mean, it was like, it was like you forgot everything that I told you about those stupid fans, and I don't understand that. And then you started talking to yourself. What have the fan? What have the fans done for you, Greg? How many wins have you gotten because of because of the fans? I have two wins over Global. Over you beat Global? Global? You beat the whole show. <laughs> he the, beat the, the whole show. show. On Global. I've wrestled pretty much everybody on the show. I've wrestled and on yeah, Global who have you and beat? I got two wins. Who have you beat? Little Italy, my tag team partner. My he let you win because partner. he pitied a fool. But go ahead. I made some dumb choices in wrestling. Yes, I've you really have. made some stupid ones. Wrestling is but your one dumb choice. But one of them choice. is never quitting, never getting up. Never giving up. Ever. I don't care what you, Rick, I don't care what you guys think. Because you know what? I, I was complimenting you on this. I understand and thank you for that. Okay, John Cena 2.0. I Come care on, what Ken Sermonera thinks Good because job. he can see potential in me. I do, I do this it. for the fans because they give me the spirit to get back up and keep fighting. You know, and talking to myself, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to him and you can plainly see him right over there. There's no one over there! Yes, there is. He's sitting right there. You can't see him. Don't call me crazy, because I know. I can read your mind. You're calling me crazy. Uh, see? You, uh, see, he's crazy. Who you Not me. Not me, buddy. Do you, do you see you. who he's do you see who he's talking to? <laughs> yeah, of course I who see. Who are you talking to? You don't see little Jimmy? That's little Jimmy! <laughs> we have little Jimmy as a guest! Nice. Ah. You didn't ask me who I was talking to. Who are you talking to? Got myself, Dad! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why did I know he was going to say that? Anyway, February 26th, Cold War II. Be there or be square. It's going to be a great event, man. There's a lot of stuff going on. Even the pre-show. Make sure you get those VIP tickets. It's only $5 added to the other tickets, so it's worth every stinking penny. You're going to have three championship matches on the pre-show. That's more than the main show. Yeah, so make crazy. sure you get your VIP passes. We're going to go ahead and take a commercial break. But when we come back... We're going to go ahead and take your questions. See you in just a few. Rubber City Wrestling presents Cold War II, Saturday, February 26th at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio. This amazing card features so many of your favorite RCW wrestlers and includes two world championship matches as the retro rock star Stevie Ray Pym challenges Spike St. James for his World Light Heavyweight Championship and World Heavyweight Champion Schizo defends his belt against the Black Superman Lex Vegas. Tickets are $12 general admission, $18 front row. Add $5 for our VIP package. Doors open at 5 p.m. Bell time is at 6 p.m. VIP doors open at 4. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. TNT Health, unmasking your potential. So, you want to look like the headline Vinny DiMaggio? Here's your chance. Let's not be ridiculous. Nobody can look like Vinny. But if you need that energy before your workout, or you want to lose some weight, burn some fat, we got that. You want to build some lean muscle? You can get it at TNT. Or even if you just need the essentials, BCAAs, juiced up, here at TNT Health, we carry it all. Come visit us at TNTHealth.com. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at Facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Well, fans, it's that time of the show again. You've got questions? We've, We've got, got answers. answers. Why did you do that, too? Yeah, you more. just had to, didn't you? Are it's you part a... of the show. All right, it is. You didn't do it this time. I haven't done it for the last couple of weeks. Why? I noticed that. Why should I do it? The fans want to hear me say it. I'm not doing it anymore. Damn right. About time you... Start the fans want to hear me. The, the, the idiots yes! want to hear me say it. Yes. I'm not doing it. I'm not giving them the yes. satisfaction. Of Listen. course, the Barbie doll agrees with Mr. Say, makes me sick. I, <laughs> hey, at call me Barbie doll. Hey, at least he looks better than you. Do you want me to pull that that ring right there out of your head? I'm being nice to you. You don't. You Man, don't disrespect. Did you have me. a chocolate covered pretzel? 
Did you have a stink palm? Man. Oh, no, no. I scratched my ass. Yeah, that's what a stink palm is, man. I don't know what he's talking about. Did you ever seen mall rats? Critical. All right. Yes, I've seen mall rats. That's why I said I scratched my ass, you dumbass. Anyway. Hey, I heard you were gay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> we can't say no. that on the air. Stop it. It's Stop. 2022. But Stop. I'm not... Stop. You sure? What, 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 did my, what did my grandfather used to say? What are the questions? In my day, gay men, you were happy. Hoo-ah. Okay. hoo -ah. All right, I'm... our first question. Ken, what did you put in this? I feel like, like I'm getting messed up. Good stuff, Maynard, huh? <laughs> yeah, actually. You, I go on. All you right. couldn't handle the Hawaiian. Our language. first question comes from Apple, Jimmy Thomas from Akron, Ohio. Oh, Jimmy! That's Rick! Boy. When are you giving Animo a title shot? Long overdue. In capital letters. Whenever his nuts finally drop, he becomes a man and he's willing to ask me for it. Because trust me, I'm not afraid of Animal. Nor am I afraid of well, anybody. Wait a minute, why don't you challenge him right here? Because, as you know... The champion never maybe, challenges. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the thing. Okay? Yeah, a, challenge, a champion that wants to remain a champion definitely does challenge. No, That's where the you're top, wrong. Wait, the top never wait, wait, challenges wait, 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 the wait. bottom. Wait, stop. Is that really... How you manage people wow. by trying to give away your belt. Let me show you something right now. You see that belt right there? I've held this thing for over a year. Do you guys understand that? Over a year. Do you know why I've held this for over a year? Because I've been smart about holding it. Because I'm still the GOAT. Because if I wanted to be the world champion anywhere else, I would be. And guess what? I'm the world champion on Global right if, now. Hey, if I was the champion the global and I champion. wrestled guys like that. Valedictorian. I don't wrestle the Valedictorian. And uh, what's that? Nacho. You might have, but it was like Nacho Chubbo. What the hell is that guy's name? Nacho Libre? I don't know who you're talking you about. You know what? Oh, the Russian Mexican guy? Yeah, Russian Mexican yeah, 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 guy. Gotcha. El Guapo. El, El Guapo. El Guapo. Yeah. El Gordo? I would hold, the, I would oh, I hold the belt forever. You know You what? should challenge him right now. I let this you guy have a match. The point? Did I not give you a match? He, he did. That's the he point. did. Is it not? Gosh. Right. So you know what I would do if I was global, cha if I was a champion in general, wow, which dreaming. I don't need to be, because I got the fans on my side. Not <laughs> so. They cheer for if you I was, a I like to see you get your butt kicked. So if I was a champion, Mister Makes Me Sick, what I would <laughs> do is I would take my championship and every week me? on Global, they feel fine, thank you. You should get them out of I, your will mouth. Will you just come on? Every week on Global, I would defend the championship belt. Every week? Every week. Every week. Well, I would. I mean, for a one on if, if, if every by week. some remote chance I was able to just give this belt to somebody and and then you were to defend it, I mean, you would only have to defend it one week anyway because you'd lose it back to the defending champion anyway. Yeah. That's how I look at it. But we're not going there. I'm trying to compliment, I'm trying to be nice to you. We don't don't put He's a lost cause. Don't put yourself in a situation where I have to be mean. He's to you. a lost cause. Why? Why are you? Why are because you trying to be nice? I am right. A. He's talking to somebody that we don't see. B. So. Uh, B. I just. I'm. Listen. Stop being so nice, Rick. No, no. I need to wrestle against people that will give me competition. No offense to you. You're still young. One day you'll be there. I'm sure. I'm not. Yeah, he will. He will. One day I'm going to retire. Are you going to manage this man when he's finally done with all his training? Absolutely. That's not a joke. Absolutely. You Why? should be laughing. Why would you do that to your own career? Why? He talks to himself. Why would you do that to your own career, beast? My career. You're, you're already. You're already on a high note. You you beat the crap out of valedictorian my, twice. My career. Look, my have, career has uh, been made. Look, this you're is made just. Man. This is just. You, you've beaten... Cherries on top of the cake. Okay, all right. You've beaten the valedictorian two out of three times. I'm impressed. Two okay. out of two if times. Two out of three, three times. I'll say that. You're on a high note. Why would you manage someone so low on the totem whoa, pole whoa, whoa, that he's whoa, actually on the ground? Don't even use that word. Totem pole? No, high note. Not until you get your belt back. This coward who's afraid to give you a match. He actually is afraid to give me a match. I noticed that because you haven't gotten your mandatory rematch. No, rematch. I really haven't. Okay. I did talk to Brennan. I was a no one cares. Right? You're, no, one cares. no, 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 no. You no talked one cares. about no one cares. you. He okay. said he'll give you a match when you deserve it. I uh, always he's deserve the it. He's a former champion. I'm about to call you the champion still. I he's still a am the champion. He's literally just holding my belt for me. I watched. Right. I watched you understand that? That's what I saw. One, That's two, what I three. see. That's what I see. Did, did you see? Did you see that ref slow count? 
That was a slow it count. It doesn't matter. He got you. One, two, three. Guys, I got a match on this card, by the way, that I want to talk about today. Tell me. And I know that we're supposed to be doing the questions. Yeah. And we suck at it because these guys won't shut up. But before we the go, girl, the girls are Gabby today. Yeah. It's not my fault you won't shut up. J.D. Smooth versus Marcus Knight. Ooh. Forget about it. Oh my just god. Just forget about this it. Should be a good match. Now, is this Merciless Marcus Knight? I don't know which Marcus or... Knight we're going to get. No, no boy, no. But I'll tell you right now, I would love to wrestle Marcus Knight. I think it'd be such a great match. No, but anyway, he, did say, he did say it was your, his dream match to wrestle. We have questions. This guy is not well. Would Marcus you rather? Knight. I know he's not. You're a dear Somebody, friend of mine. That's I don't want to see him get hurt. Oh, he'll get hurt. Is he, will, be he, he, he will, he will probably be merciful. F you up. All right, all right. Let, let's What's the question? Questions? Against oh. you. See, right. he didn't want to hear that. Okay, go ahead. Questions. Exactly. Hey, Rick. Hey, Beast. This one's about dream teams. Why do they ever say, hey, Miles? Because they know better. Hey, Jacob. Okay. Why does he do that? Why does he call you by your last name? And he doesn't even put the S on it. No, doesn't. It's Ken, a, by the way, he, that's a lovely not, dress. Not, not only is he... Jacobs. Jake, it's, yeah, it's Jacobs. Or if you're you're a friend of his, like me, you call him Jake. And I'm it's, not even... It's, it's You know, he'll call me Lieb or role model, and I call him Jake. All right, Jakey. All right, let's oh, go. Gosh. <laughs> let's hear the question there. there. Empty bottle. What is your... Smack this old man with. Hey, what's the damn question? What are you talking about, Elder? Get to the question. Come Where on, old man. Talking? I don't got all day. Look at the time. Look at my Rolex. Look at the time. How I don't have it? time for your bull you, crap. Get to the question. You know what that time it is? It, it says the truck. it's time it fell off the truck in Jersey City. All right. Okay. What is your RCA dream, RCW dream team? RCA. Dream team or dream what? match? What is it? Dream that? team. Dream team. The way. The way. The way it currently is. What, all 19 of you? There's only like, four. You know, there's I want to say, wait. Let, I watched the match between Team Beast has more people between, in the way. Between Schizo and Vinny. It was pathetic. Vinny had yeah, four, sucked, four Vinny guys lost. out there around the ring. It was pathetic. And that he that still referee lost the freaking match. match. Right. It was pathetic that that referee didn't call the match right down the middle Did and you see? give Vinny the win like he should have had. Did it you was see Schizo cheap so, uh, cheat so many times? I would say Schizo is the silent majority here. All right. I'm glad you said that. All right. I say it. So my it. dream team, I'm going to answer it first, and you girls can go next. My dream team would be the Rogue and Animal. I would love to bring them out to the ring. Oh, dream tag team. You got oh. it. It's a team. All right. I'm pretty sure. So go ahead. Dream... Name it. I'm Rick, you're sure. up first. Senior um, man. All right, here it goes. Hey. Any member of the way with any member of the way. That was easy. That was. That was pretty easy. That's I have easy. to agree with you, but... Me and you put up a great match. Did I'm sure have? if Max and Vinny were a tag team, they'd put up a great match. I'm sure if me and Vinny or you and Max, Max I'm sure if you and Vinny oh, or me and Max... I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, it doesn't any matter. Any member of the way... With any member of the way. You know what dream? You know what dream? What's your team? dream match? Yeah, you know what's your dream? Draven, match? What's yours? Dream uh, team. Dream team. Dream team. You and Big Jolie? <laughs> no, it's totally. It, well, it, it'd, probably, it'd probably be maybe, him and me. maybe, maybe five, ten years, but from now. But right now, who well, I do dream like match? Julie. He's a good guy. I'm happy. He's my tag partner. Right, and he's he's actually a tough dude. It's a lot better than you. Ooh. Well. Hoo ah. Hoo ah. I'd, I'd much be. rather face. Is it just because the bricks Julie on Johnson. that wall over there look off-centered? It does. A little oh. bit. Who did that? Probably him. Go. Okay, I have two. Two? Myself yes. and Ken Sermonera. Whoa. Oh, well, okay. thank you anyway. That would be a jobber tag. Hey, Go uh, on. And hey, the other one is, he under, is, is he role under, model Rick Lee. Is he what? Is he under the desk? And, yeah. get this, role model Rick Lee and Schizo. Me and Schizo? Crazy and beautiful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, I, I, made, a sta that. I made a statement that you were gay, and you just called another man beautiful. You know what, though? He, he was right. He complimented me, so I get to compliment him. By the way, I love the purple shirt. Purple don't touch him. Don't, don't okay. touch him. Okay. I, well, don't touch I, him. I wear purple because I had a good friend who passed away. His name was Logan Scott. Yeah. He And me and him, actually, we were the co-owners of Wrestle for the Cure. 
and I still am, by the way. And so, Rust for the Cure, actually, what they do is they're, they're a fundraiser. They do things for uh, other wrestlers um, with maybe, if like, say one of the wrestlers have an illness or something. We would actually go out and try and raise funds for that wrestler. Like diabetes, or, for example. We, or, on top of that, we've also done lupus. We wore pink. We've done cancer. We've done all kinds of charity events. And we still are out there. So if anybody would like to book us for a charity event, just get a hold of me. A diabetes well show? Well said. Yeah, I do a diabetes show. Heart surgery show. I mean, I had heart heart surgery, so... You know, and yeah, I'm still a bad m and -er. I mean, look at me. You're immortal. I am. That's kind of true. Immoral? What did you call him? That immortal. Too. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's immoral. Next question. Immortal. All right, let's get to our last question. Oh, and this is a good Wait, did we have a first question? Yeah. I, I, every time every time he talks, I lose a couple brain cells. I know, right? So that's, that's why right. I thought, of, uh, that's why I forgot that there was other questions. All right, go. Let's is this it. a bus that goes to school? Okay. See, anyway. every time he talks, I lose brain cells. <laughs> All right. Don't hang me because I'm beautiful. The last question is, gentlemen, please. Did you? You dare. That's from your dream. Are you guys done with each other yet? Can I? Can I'm I'm go ahead, good that. sir. Can we go okay. home? Can we please? Can we go home, Bruce? Right. Mr. Sermonera, who yes, was sir. that? For, who was the second question from? And can we please? The second question from somebody named Shandy Post. Honolulu, Hawaii. Ah, my beautiful wife. There you go, right there. She asked you like that question. Was much love. All, All right, right. Set up. our last question. Do any of you guys have crazy mm -hmm. fan stories? This one comes from the Shrine Girl from Akron, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> we all, <laughs> and we all know... <laughs> we all know who the Shrine Girl is, don't we? All right. She's back! I have a lot of them, except for my wife watches the show, and we're not doing that. Okay? <laughs> How do you think I feel? Because I know who this is about. I know who it's about. It's about me! No, no Sherlock. Okay. All right, go ahead. Any crazy fan stories? Other than I got rushed at one point at, at, up at North Coast by a crazy fan, because I guess I made him mad. But he squared up with me, and then I didn't give him what he wanted, because, you know, I just like... Nope. <clears throat> no, that, 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 that's about it. That's good. No. When those people were waiting for you when you came out of the locker room. That was that was creepy. That was Yes! Creepy. That's what this is about. Yeah. Tell the story. Alright, so I'm at a show in um, Sebring, maybe? No, not Sebring. <sighs> out by Youngstown. Um, Struthers, there we go. And, you know, <clears throat> I, I, my match was right before intermission. Um, I was actually tag teaming with Blackhawk, which is weird. Really oh, weird. Oh, this is when Blackhawk was still acceptable. Uh, I mean, Blackheart. Blackheart, yeah. It was, it was, it, I mean, it, it is what it is. But, Matt and Intermission, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a breather backstage. And I'm like, all right, it's time to go out, see to see how much money my uh, merch table is making. By the way, I made a bunch of money that night. It always does. does. I made I made like three hundred dollars. It always does, dude. I mean, those, those Christmas bulbs, by the way, look great on my tree. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're and nice. you can still get those Christmas bulbs, by the way. The uh, balls for your tree. Oh, uh, I'm actually fresh out, but I get more made. Yeah. Oh, you're out already. I'm out. I, they sold out. They sold out that weekend. Oh, I don't doubt it. I mean, yeah. who the heck wouldn't want a Miles Jacobs Christmas bulb? Uh, it was on great. The tree. I know I have. Like, it, it, it's it's the it's the the main thing. But anyway, I come out. You know, I it's come out. I, I come back out of the curtain. And there's two these two fine people, uh, I they they rush me. I they they're just like Miles, and they they hug me, and I was like, "Who are you people? Get away from me!" Did oh you, my god! How many showers did you take after that? Oh, I couldn't take enough showers to get their stench. Oh off my me. god! Oh, Whoa! Goodness. Okay, crazy was, fan story. Bad. You have one Drake. He doesn't have any oh. fans. What are you doing? Stay, stay off of those. Now go. He doesn't have any fans. That's a he, joke. Was, he was just telling me to check out the ring, see if they were real diamonds. Hey, no, his only fan is imaginary. Okay. Like, okay. So, Kobe Bryant retirement ring. Oh, there's one time. Not really, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, it's a Kobe Bryant retirement ring. This really oh, big so guy. Cool. When he passed away, his wife gave it to me. Start oh. talking smack about me on the air, and oh, I know yeah. he's such a big fan of me. So I got up and I challenged him. Penn State national. And then he wanted to kick me in the balls. Wait, I have a feeling this was just like like 
10, 20 minutes ago. But if we're not talking about today... Is he calling you a crazy fan? I think he's calling me a crazy fan. I think he misinterprets it. So if we're not life. talking about today, there was a time at Wasp. And, uh... What's a Wasp? Oh, Wasp. Anglo-Saxon Protestant. W-A-S-P. <laughs> we are sexual perverts? Oh. I'm sorry. Well, we're going to be kicked off the air. <laughs> Stay monetized! Yeah! yeah! I know we make a lot of money on this show, but some of these episodes... Man. Yeah, we do, right. you don't. So anyway, I was at Wasp, and I had a guy literally stand up and scream at me to the, the point man. he got red in the face. And he said that he was going to take my lay and choke me with it, and I said, well... At the least first time I don't lay laid. my sister like you do. This is back when I got oh, back in the ring. This is back when I was still. I, I respect that move, honestly. I wish it was still like that. Right? You girls go well, on well, what, what made it crazy? What, what oh. made it crazy was he came up and he said, "Hey, man, I love you so much." He tried to lay with you. Oh gosh! Did you let him? Did you let him lay you? Nope. Yeah, okay, I doubt I that. had bigger things on my mind. All right. All right. Yeah. All yeah. right. The Beast. All right. I'm wrestling at North High School in Akron, Ohio. Gosh, I've wrestled there before. Oh, yeah. How the heck did we not wrestle on the same cards? 1984, five. That's why. <laughs> I'm, I'm, wrestling, I'm wrestling this green guy, new guy. He's a new guy. Green, I'm beating on this guy. poor boy for 15 minutes. Green guy. I could have beaten him seven times. I said, no, I'm enjoying myself. All right? Did he beat you? So finally, he makes a comeback. So I jump out of the ring to take a take a powder, take a breather, to kill his heat a little bit. All of a sudden, this huge, and I mean huge, 300, 400 pound black lady gets in my face. She sounds too damn thick. And she starts screaming at me. Waving a hot dog in front of my face. Did you eat it? I grabbed her by the wrist and I bit, took a bite out of the hot dog. Nice! She was pissed. And I mean pissed. She took the rest of the hot dog and threw it at me. And with all this hair on my chest and shoulders, I have ketchup and mustard dripping all over the god darn place. God's last name ain't darn. And I of you at home. went out back in the ring and finished off the poor kid. And... The Cleveland Plain Dealer wrote up the story the next day. It may have been the Akron Beacon Journal. Akron Beacon, probably. And guessing. they said, the baddest bad guy of the, them all, the beast, Until beat Lee that poor around. boy for 27 minutes So who until won? he finally put him away. So back in the day, you used to not care what the fans think? He was awesome. He was what awesome. Happened? I never thought about it either way. What happened? They either take me or they reject me. I don't care. He was awesome. And then all of a sudden, he got civilized. Man. No, because... You know, no, the way you would, know why? Let me explain it to you. The way would love to have a real beast. Could, can I explain it to you for a minute? Instead of that fake animal? Mr. Jacob, yeah. please. Mr. Jacob, please. I, I'm sorry. Do you let's hear go. That? Go. Do you hear that? Go. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't listen. Uh, listen. I'm listening. Ah. Yeah. Hey. That's about where Matt right now. Hey. Yeah. We'll, we'll Second work. one. Work on it later. Hey, okay. Fix yourself. Or you wreck yourself. We're almost going home, Bruce. Okay. Don't hate him because he's beautiful. You yourself. Shut up. That's no nice. one cares about you. There we I actually go. got permission from Nerf her to use that song. Go there, ahead. There we go. No, oh, the point is this. Yeah. No one wants to see a young twenty something punk picking on a sectogenarian. Right, will a you what? just finish your damn story? A person over 60 years old, okay? No. You're like over 70, aren't you? Damn near it, okay? <laughs> will you, you just there? finish your story? Nobody wants to see a young punk picking on the plane dealer guy. or somebody said they that. Said vegan. The Beast was the baddest bad guy of them all. Right. Until he was born. Until he noticed the little girl in the first row crying because the Beast would not stop Beating on this poor guy till he finally pinned him. And that... Wait a minute, what did you do to the poor girl that was crying? I didn't do nothing. I didn't see her. I made little kids cry. I would have slapped the little rug rat. Hey, I made little kids cry at the uh, uh, Christmas show. That we had. Dude, these rings are awesome, by they the way. They really are. Look, this is Kobe Bryant's retirement ring. And this is the Penn State National Championship ring. Oh, cool story. He said they're fake diamonds. Real quick with the yeah. quick story before we gotta go. You're good. 
That's all. I um, haven't had my... All right, crazy fan story. Try girl. girl. I know try girl. girl. Try girl. Try girl. Try girl. Try girl. Try girl. You shut up. I never thought I'd see the try guy girl. I agree with him. Try girl will be second. I'll do two stories. Wait, hold on. So there's someone... Dude, there's yeah, someone crazy. Than <laughs> are, are you guys forgetting who I am? <laughs> I got five or six of them if you want to stick around for a Tell while. Tell us about the shrine Dang. girl. Oh, no, that's shrine girl. That's last. Okay, here. Story number one. Me, Shane Taylor, we're tagging up. We're wrestling. Uh, we're managed by Gemini, who is my wife. And we're out there, and, and we're doing a good job. Now, this is technically towards her, but it's such a funny story. i got to tell it. <clears throat> anyway, so while me and him are wrestling... There's this old man who keeps on jumping on her, like 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 calling her a slut, a whore. I mean, like he's just calling her every name that's not hers. No and way. finally, <laughs> Shane Taylor heard it. I didn't hear any of this because I'm in the ring and you know I'm zoned in. Right. So our match ends. Shane Taylor jumps out. This guy's still following her around the ring, and he jumps in between her and that guy. Shane Taylor's huge. Yes, he is. He's 350 pounds, and he looked at him and he goes. Old man, if you don't get the hell away from her, you're going to make the worst mistake of your entire life. The man changed colors. Like, he went, like, through all rainbow colors that he could possibly have before he turned, like, green and purple. And then he finally said, boom, and he took off running like crazy. I thought that was the funniest story ever <laughs> because it's the truth. Anyway... Yeah. I'm I'm shrine, girl, shrine Girl. I'm shrine, shrine Girl. girl. Shrine, shrine Girl. Shrine Girl. Shrine Girl. Because of the chance, Shrine Girl will be fourth. <laughs> Jeez, number two, yeah. come on, man. Number two, I know. Isn't this sad? Don't, like don't right? give them what you what they want, you know. Yeah, exactly. Number two. Oh, you got to be faster than that. I'm in. Oh. <laughs> I'm in Barberton, 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 Ohio. I come out because honestly, I should have been given a world championship match right away. This is what I wrote for UWC. So I'm coming out, and honestly, I figured out a way to maybe get the uh, promoter to do it. If I'm nice to his fans. Maybe he'll be nice to me. So I brought a big block of cheese. Oh, I love uh, this story. Of, there's a bunch of pieces. Ah, oh, the platter. And, 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 and so I'm handing all the toothpick little blocks, little squares of cheese to every girl that's out in the crowd. Just girls, and, right? Yeah, yeah, all the girls, not the guys. They don't deserve it. And then I got in the ring, and I told, I told the promoter, I said, look, since I was nice enough to feed your rats, you, ah. should, be, you should be nice enough. To feed me a world championship match. Of course, then all of a sudden these rats, these rats, like, like, what the heck? Probably all the skinny ones because the fat ones ate they, them already. They just got grateful. Hashtag fat shaming's good. Anyway, so they start throwing, I, now I'm getting pelted by cheese I, after doing such a kind gesture. I didn't I'm understand grateful that at bastards. All. I know. I, ungrateful rats. Yeah. That's the way I looked at it. Story number three. Wrestling out in Worcester, Ohio. Wooster. Now, everybody knows, it. well, they hate when you call it Wooster, I but I don't, because I call it Wooster. Actually, I call Rooster. it Rooster, Ohio. And Actually, so, <laughs> the only rooster that's in, that's in that I know of is that guy right there. Oh, I'm a rooster? <clears throat> yeah, look at your head. Cow so, so anyway, yeah, you do You're going to get milk. Will you shut up for a minute? That's gay. Do you guys not want me to tell a story? Yeah, go ahead. I sorry. won't if you don't want me to. No, no, go ahead. Sorry, I was making the... Anyway, noise. I'm in Wooster, not Wooster, Ohio. And I brought a thing of bird feed. And so I'm over here and I'm walking out and I'm throwing it at their feet, which is where, you know, they well, want it. Yeah. And so I'm throwing the bird feed at their feet as I walk all the way around the ring and do this. Then I got in the ring and again, I demand a world championship match because I was nice. I said, as I look around, everybody said this is Rooster, Ohio, which of course they're yelling, Worcester, it doesn't even sound like Worcester, you know, it was crazy crap because they're morons, don't know what the heck they're talking about. Anyway, so... I do that, and I said, you know, since, uh, since I'm wrestling in Worcester, I go, you know, they call this Rooster, Ohio, boys. I look around, even in the locker room, all I see is a bunch of chickens. Of course, that didn't make any of the wrestlers happy, but it made this one fan so mad that she, it's an old grandma lady, she jumped over the railing and tried getting in the ring to attack me. I couldn't believe that. So that's a crazy fan story. That's a true story, by the way. Oh, true lady story. Falls. Yeah, yeah, I'll give her credit for that, but I, yeah. I still punched her in the mouth. Well, anyway, so, I mean, she deserved it. Yeah, but, course. so finally, man, these rings look good on me. I'm about Only to buy them off of you, Ken. Only real diamonds cut glass. Let's uh, see. Okay. Go yeah, ahead. well, they're yours. <laughs> anyway, so then I got the final thing. Shrine. Actually, they're mine. I'm joking. The final thing. The final match is about the Shrine Girl. 
Okay, so we were waiting. Let's do the, the, let's actually do the PWW questionnaire first. That story with the Triangle Girl. No, that that ends it. Oh, that ends it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So there was a fan of mine. She was such a big fan of mine that she would buy everything I had, like everything, all of it, the whole table. Like, no, no, not the whole table, but like, if I had a shirt, she'd buy the shirt. If I had a poster, she had a bought a poster. If I drew, if I had an eight by ten, bought the eight by ten. If I had just a regular picture, she bought the picture. If I had anything, she bought it. Do you understand? Yeah. So she bought all this stuff. And then she... Uh, great for you. Yeah, which is great for me. I made a lot of money off yeah. of it. But, you know, and, and, and I and I respect her, you know, for that. Until? No, no, no. I, I still respect her. I'm not going to lie. I mean, to me, I think it's kind of awesome, but it's creepy. So then I get a picture sent to me on MySpace. That's how long ago. Oh, wow. MySpace. I remember yeah. that. And all my MySpace. We weren't even alive. Shut it up. was... All the posters, all that, th the shirt hanging up, like in a freaking one of them jersey thingies, you yeah. know, they hang the jerseys up, yeah. shadow box, like everything that you had of me, even the doll. And I barely had any of them doll. I only sold like, I only, they, like they weren't supposed to really be there for sale, but somehow she talked to the people that were selling at my merchandise table into the sale, like, so she wasn't giving a lot of money for it. I wow. can't remember how much, but even the freaking doll, you know, which I have, what, one left? Hold on, where's that? You have it out? Yeah, of course. In the corner, right? The role model doll. Can All right, that's that? pretty cool. Yeah, of course you can. So even the role model doll... I'll give you and, five bucks for it. Oh, you, you get punched in the mouth for that offer. I love the sideburn. I'll kick, I'll, wow. hey, I'll kick him in the nuts for free. Why, okay. Rick? Why? Yeah, I had the Why, John? Why? Isn't that okay. awesome? That's nice. Right. It's got the tattoo and everything on it. So anyway, so I go to this... Or uh, she sends me this picture. It's got all that stuff up. It's got the doll. It's got everything. In the middle is a candle burning. That's a shrine. That's where it got weird. And she's like, I dedicated this spot in my room to you. And it looked like a closet, by, uh, by the way. Like, like it looked, it had walls on the side. Or like a, a, a I don't know what. But anyway. It's definitely so, a shrine. Then all of a sudden, I'm like, look at this. And I'm like, that's not a, that's not a, a, a dedicated wall. That's, that is a shrine. That's where she had the nickname Shrine Girl. And I'm like, this is creepy. And then, so, then we had a win, uh, a win a date. Gosh, dang it. Now that she's going to go to tomorrow. So, you know, and we've done a couple of these win a dates with the role model and stuff like that. You know, one way to go to WW. Um, and, you know, I would go out. And, and, and it was it was a bunch of different girls, you know. You know, every, every year we would do it. So, and we did the one. And this one here, we had all these questions that no one could answer. Because the first one, we made them easy questions. But this last one was like questions that no one could answer. Basically because I got sick of taking, you know, dates. girls I didn't know on dates and stuff, right? And this one, somehow, she knew every, including what was my first dog's name. How the hell do you know what my first dog's name is? Yeah. She knew somebody. And knew she you. knew somebody. Yeah, she did her homework. I'll did tell you that. Did you right. a restraining order? No, of course not. <laughs> no, you went on that date. Are right? you kidding me? She, yeah, I went on that date, man. She still buys my merchandise. I yeah. mean, why would I do that? Anyway, but I thought that was weird. I Obviously, mean, like, no how do you have sense. a shrine of me? And then on top of all that, and why is she asking the question? So she knows it's about her. So, because she accepted the nickname Shrine Girl. I got one thing to tell you. She's back. Apparently so. Oh, yeah. So uh, that on is, that note, that is the question. But on that note, yeah. I'm going to drink the rest of this one. Mm. I got three words for everybody. Not yet. Because for our unexpected guest, uh, the Hollywood Guru Draven Post, who is now going to be wrestling you in a no disqualification match submission. on Global Sum submission. submission match. Oh! Disqualifications oh. can happen. Oh, okay. But just oh, submissions. Me, it's not ultimate submission. He doesn't want me to jump it in. <laughs> <laughs> kick him in the balls again. All right. No, yeah, I just know. Anyway, anyway for, for, of course, the Sicilian Beast, Ken Sermonera. Miles Jacobs, Hollow Guru, your role model Rick Lee, <coughs> saying so long. And you guys should probably shake hands. Shake hands, make up. Play on. nice for Craig. Uh, Come I'll, on. I'll, I'll shake his hand. Do it. I'll get a stand up. Go do it. I'll shake his hand. Stand, you, you, your pants are so cute. Get, yeah, get over there and do that. Shake his hand. Don't ever interrupt our show again. Ah. Ah. Hey, give me the baseball bat. Right, sit down, sit down. See you next week. Poor bastard.